As I understand it, one of the biggest investors in renewable energy uh, businesses in the world. Talk to us first off, well, good morning first off, and then talk to us a little bit about your investments in non-fossil fuel energy. Well, the European Investment Bank, the EU Bank, has been very active in this field for decades, and we are, as a matter of fact, indeed, the largest multilateral lender in this field. However, we have seen this year has brought about a change, a fundamental change also with our public. So people are detecting climate change as a real threat, and therefore action is needed, as the European Union will show this week. And we, as the EU Bank, have decided a couple of weeks ago that we are going to move away from fossil fuel financing and uh, move to alternatives and to make sure that the jobs lost when we depart from fossil fuel energy uh, will be replaced by other jobs. Economic p opportunities and perspectives are uh, needed and uh, therefore we have set up a very ambitious program and want to a little bit drive also the other multilateral development banks because this is an issue we can only do together and we can only do together with the private sector. Uh, Werner, good morning to you. Uh, in terms of your investment strategy, strategy then, as you say, put out a couple of weeks ago, it did sound quite radical. Do you think you're going to be setting a precedent for the bulk of the investment community? Will they follow? Well, it, is, it sounds more dramatic than it was, but uh, I mean, psychologically it was a fundamental change. Our investments into fossil fuel industry over the last years were relatively low. But of course it is quite a step to say now over is over. Um, and indeed we hope that it will trigger a development that will have consequences. It must have consequences because uh, we only have uh, 10, 15 years to go until by, by then the, the trend for the worsening of our climate situation will not be reversible anymore. So action is needed now and indeed we believe that uh, the time has come now, the public goes along. One thing that isn't radical is the uh, German climate bill. They only want to put a tax of 10 euros per metric ton on carbon emissions. The SPD wants to triple that, I think, at least. Um, what, what do you think about this uh, relatively low tax that the Germans are trying to use to steer behavior? Doesn't it have to be much larger? Well, I, I hesitate to comment on the domestic issues. On the other hand, I see that this has been a big first step in Germany. I don't believe it's going to be the last one, and I think more ambitious objectives will be set soon. The discussion over the weekend were going into this direction. Uh, more ambitious climate goals would be certainly not the risk for this uh, governing coalition, so I think more action will be seen soon. As we sit, I sit here in London, Werner, it's of course a few days until we see a, an election here in the UK. Um, in terms of the European Investment Bank and questions unanswered through the Brexit process, is there anything you're uh, still seeking clarity on? Well, this is a terrible situation that we are living in now for four years and the British people are living in it. And uh, obviously uh, there is a probability that it will take place. If it takes place, it will do harm to all of us, but in particular to the people in the United Kingdom. There will be a future after Brexit, of course, and we are going to cooperate with friends and allies. But uh, we will we'll get, get to feel it in the GDP figures uh, very soon all over Europe.